This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. The Jackson City Clerk is on probation following a missed deadline to get two street proposals put on the November ballot. City Council made a unanimous decision at their Tuesday night meeting. In the last two weeks, I was never contacted by any member of the city staff to let me know that this was coming, said City Councilman Jeremy Alexander. But a step was missed, and it wasn't on the ballot. Councilwoman Kelsey Hack said that the two street millage proposals are now dead in the water and will not appear on the November ballot. The City Council wrapped up Tuesday's meeting in closed session and returned with a vote to place City Clerk Andrea Murray on probation. The terms of the disciplinary action remain confidential. It's unknown if the Council will vote to put the proposals on a future ballot or if they will create a new road funding plan altogether. Firefighters responded to reports of flames at a metals processing facility in Lansing on Tuesday afternoon. The incident happened just before 6 p.m. at Atmosphere Annealing on West Mount Hope. Authorities say that the fire was put out in about 20 minutes after it was reported. Black smoke could be seen coming from the roof of one of the buildings and no one was injured. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. MDOT said traffic along I-94 is going to shift starting on Wednesday at 8 p.m. While MDOT crews work on the expressway, right lane traffic on eastbound 994 will be redirected to the new pavement on the south and the new bridge over the Grand River. MDOT says traffic in the left lane will not change. This construction will be happening from Lansing Avenue to Elm Avenue. MDOT says that anyone trying to use the off-ramp at Elm, Elm Avenue must stay in the right lane when the expressway splits. Although the ramp at Elm Avenue will be open, the, ex the eastbound I-94 ramp at West Avenue will be closed for about a week, according to MDOT. This is all part of the $110 million MDOT project. It's expected to wrap up next spring. Michigan will become the first state in the country to ban flavored e-cigarettes, according to the Washington Post. The move is expected to be announced on Wednesday and will, be, will go into effect immediately. In an interview, Governor Gretchen Whitmer said that the state health department found youth vaping created a public health emergency. The governor said that e-cigarette companies are only using sweet flavors to hook young people on nicotine with potentially long-term harmful consequences. Governor Whitmer signed a bill back in June making it illegal to sell e-cigarettes to minors. The ban will last for six months. Learn more about all of these and all MidMichigan's breaking news on fox47news.com.